Today, I'm gonna show you how to get the best image possible on Zoom while accessing some settings on your webcam that you didn't know about. Let's get into it. So to start off, you gotta realize that when you're inside of Zoom, Zoom uses your webcam with automatic default settings, meaning that everything is automatic, such as your, such as your focus, your exposure, your white balance, whatever, it's all being automatically handled by Zoom. Now, Zoom does an okay job handling your image automatically, but it, it fails at times when it, weird things pop up, such as like with autofocus, you see how like, like the autofocus is a little different. And then when I put my hand up, things are kind of like how the image darkens and lightens, like a dark, then light, dark, then light. And at the same time, when I stand up, the color of my shirt changes color, right? It's kind of like warm and then it changes again. All right, so while the automatic settings work to an extent, they kind of suffer when the environment changes. So in, or, in, order for the, in order for the automatic settings to kind of do its best, the environment needs to be perfect. And sometimes we don't always live in a perfect environment, especially for our webcam. So we're gonna do a couple things. We're gonna get into the manual settings of your webcam so you can, so you can lock everything down and dial in the perfect settings for your webcam when it comes to Zoom. All right, so first we're gonna download a program called OBS Studio. Go ahead, just go to the uh, go to the website. I'll leave the link down below. Pick your operating system. Go ahead, press install. All right, it'll go in there, and you just install it, and it'll do everything automatically. A setup wizard will come up. You just go through it, set, and done. Now, once OBS opens up, where's my OBS? There we go, OBS. All right, now once OBS opens up, you're gonna have this screen, right? And you're gonna have this the sources area here, and it's gonna be blank. Right, we're gonna go ahead and press plus on it and then go to video capture device, right? Video capture device will be your webcam. So when we go there, it's a video capture device. You can either type in the name of your webcam if you like or give it another name, but we'll leave it as a video capture device. I'll press okay and then it brings this up. Uh, right now it's seeing that my, my other webcam and my voiceover studio, but we're gonna select the webcam that we're using. So I will select Logitech Brio. Now, it's not gonna show the image here in the, in the properties because it's already being used by Zoom. So keep that in mind. But we still have access to the manual settings for the camera. So we'll go to configure video, right? And it's gonna bring up this little properties thing right here. So I'll just close this out. Oh, no. Yeah, we'll save it, all right? And I'll just minimize that. Okay, and it'll bring up this uh, the properties, like I said before, and we'll see we have different settings, brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, white balance, backlight gain, camera control, such as our zoom, focus, exposure, and, and so on, right? Now, understand this, let's, let's go back to zoom using automatic settings, all right? As you can see, everything right here, these check marks mean that our camera is in automatic setting mode. So whichever program gets a hold of it, it's going to apply automatic settings. Now, first thing first, we, before we, we, we uh, we manipulate these settings. You want to realize that your camera works the best when it has the most light possible. So if you're next to the window during the day, you're, ha you're creating the best possible scenario for your camera. Unfortunately, the sun is not out 24 seven where, where we are. And yeah, it, it becomes really hard. So you have to rely on artificial lighting outside of those times. And not all of us uh, kind of work next to a window. So you're going to want to look at, you see the focus changing? Uh, so you're gonna want artificial light. You can get either LEDs like this, small ones like this, or small ones, a little bigger one like this, LEDs, or even some lights that have uh, diffusers, right? To actually give you a softer light. I'll leave links uh, down below if you're looking for LEDs. But me, particularly, I'm using a ring light at the top where I get to make it brighter and lighter. See, so it's dark and then light. All right, so, so that's what I'm working with. All right, so just make sure you have um, a good proper light source. Now, we're looking at default settings right now and you can see how the image looks good, but everything's kind of like, it's kind of bright. You can see like the highlights, it's just, it's, it's just kind of like over bright. So first thing we're going to do is we're gonna uncheck all of our automatic settings. You can already see the color changing, right? We'll take these off and the image gets darker. Now we wanna take our focus all the way to zero because we want our fo we want everything in focus at all times, right? Okay, now let's move to our exposure. Uh, you can see how right now it's on, I have it on negative five. If I go down, it goes lower. Now keep this in mind, when you go higher, the image will get brighter, but you see how the, the image starts making this weird 
you know, stuttery thing because like the, the shutter in the camera is open way too long. And it is, you're getting these, your, um, your, um, I guess your blurry motions, whatever, you want. the motion blur is far, far too pronounced because the shutter is open too long. So let's go all the way to, we'll leave it at five, right? This is a good point. Remember, we're using the light source to give light, right? And we'll take low light compensation off. All right, now we'll go back to our settings here and let's go to the game. Let's, let's add some artificial light into the scene. So we'll go here and right here, this looks about good, about 46. That looks about, it looks about natural. Before the automatic settings was taking it all the way over here, right? So like a hundred and something where, yeah, the, the, the image is bright, but it looks, it looks way too bright. So let's go all the way back to maybe, uh, we'll go back to like 49. All right, we'll, we'll go to five, 50. Now white balance. All right, white balance, this is where your image is either too warm or too cold, but this is what gives you the natural colors that you're looking for with your camera. So what you wanna do is with your slider, here you go, just go to the left, it brings it cold, to the right, it brings it warm. Now what you want to do is you wanna find something within your environment that you know is white. If you want, you can use like, you know, like if the light, the front of the light is kind of white, you can use that if you want. But if you don't have a light around, Use something in your environment that's white. So you can see down here, we have this, this panel here that's white. We have this white box back here and the shelf back here is white. I'm gonna use the box right here as my white source. So when using the white balance, you want to, you want to, you want to shift the slider until the box back there is white, until it looks white. You know it's white in real life, but you want it to look white on the screen. So I'll play with the slider until it looks white. So now it's a little too warm there. I'm gonna go back until, yes. That looks white, that, that looks naturally white to me because I know it's right back there. All right, so we'll leave that there. And, and as of right now, our settings are automatic, are, they're no longer automatic, they're now manual. All right, so this looks very natural and great for, um, for Zoom. Again, no issues with the, with the Zoom. I can stand up, my shirt's still blue, colors don't change, nothing's shifting, the exposure's not shifting or anything like that. Um, if you wanna dial into it even more, you can play with your saturation, right? Normally by default, your saturation will probably be at like 119, but if you wanna add a little extra color into your image, you can play with the saturation and just go up to like maybe like 122 and that'll it'll add a little extra color into your skin. You don't wanna go too high because then you look like you just got burned at the beach or like a, a sunbathing booth. Uh, so we'll just go back, I'll leave it at 22. Right, and then for the, the sharpness, this is what brings the detail out of your picture. So if I go too much, you can see all the detail on my skin. Doesn't look too good. But if we go just a little backwards, maybe below that, maybe like 17, it softens our skin so it can take the imperfections out of our skin so you look nice and beautiful and pretty for your Zoom meetings. All right, and yeah, and there you go. Now let's take a look at the difference. What does it look like? White balance, automatic settings, completely different. Somehow the image just turned kind of greenish, right? It's, it's weird. Natural, greenish, that doesn't look right. Zoom is trying, but it's not doing a very good job of it. There we go, natural colors, right? And the same thing with our exposure, too crazy, just right. And one last thing that you want to keep in mind is that when you're doing this, this doesn't save your settings from here out until the end. Whenever you close zoom out and you have to restart all, all over again, it automatically puts it into auto, auto mode. So if you're just doing like a quick and dirty zoom call, then fine, leave it on auto, right? But if you're doing something important where you wanna look your best then definitely bring this out so you can tweak those settings so you can look your best. And that is it guys. What are the key takeaways? Good light source. Right, download OBS Studio to adjust the settings. Make sure that your focus is to zero, your exposure um, is set to a level where um, you're not getting the, the, the jittery mo motion blur, right? Where it's nice and smooth. And also of course, use find an object that is white to set your white balance and you're good to go. All right guys, if you found this helpful, go ahead, leave a like. If you loved it, go ahead, feel free to subscribe. And also don't forget to, don't forget to share this if you found great value, value into this guys. Until next time guys, have fun doing your Zoom videos. Learn, do, and share. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.